is a beautiful day and we feel really lucky and blessed to be alive at least i do don't you plus it african season hashtag y254 african again just in case you did not hear me the last time niongeze volume mama tunirudie Hashtag Wet for for Afcon. We are showing the game live. It will be at the Cairo International Stadium. But yani gauge talk when you shall talk away to for four from eight p.m. Don't miss it. It's a date between you and me, all right? Tuna shangilia nani? Na ulikuna ni mbe prediction yako. It's between Uganda and Zimbabwe. Tell me who you think you win. I mean, really. Don't let me let you to angala or to 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 fukuzi nini. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. My name is Still Valentine or at Color Me Val. You can find us at Y254 on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Y in the morning. Now, I want to talk to my ladies. And today we are talking about red flags. What is a red flag? But I'm going to talk about what I'm talking about. I'm going to talk about what I'm talking about. Mm-mm. Let's start over here. Hi. Hi, Val. How are you? Fine, thank you. 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 <laughs> yeah, so I'm Grace Ngege. Mm -hmm. I am a PR specialist mm -hmm. and a content creator on the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, vitu kubwa kubwa. Karibu ko social just media try, handles. Just try. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so you can find me on all social media platforms mm -hmm. at Kish Grace. Mm -hmm. Also, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel mm -hmm. at Kish Grace. Oh, yeah. you have tutorials up in there? Not really. We yeah. just I just talk about stuff. I'm gonna come to London, Just just go there. Just a mm -hmm. <laughs> King was good. Hi, hi, hi Valentine. So fresh, though. Thank you, thank you, I man. Just go and oh. Should we kiss the ring? <laughs> the ring on the dawn, hey. Sultan. Kind of. Thank well, you, thank so you. Sorry, Rada. Rada Safi. Good um, question. can I introduce myself? Yes, please. Okay, my name is Victor Nziuko. Mm -hmm. Uh, creative artist. Mm -hmm. Hustle of the year. Mm -hmm. I can sell water to a well. Wow. So, yeah. Thank hey. you for having me also today. Also smooth talker. Yeah, also okay. smooth talker. You sound like you're about to have the red flags also. Mm, what do you mean by red flags? We'll mm. get to it in a short while. Queen was good. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. Your message ni yetu ama ni Forever or never? Ni yetu ama ilikuwa tu accident? I guess niya kila mtu. It's very fitting for girls talk. I'm proud of you. Exactly. Um, I'm Lorraine, mm -hmm. uh, a student still. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to finish school. Mm -hmm. um, on social media, Lorraine Yanaro, mm -hmm. Facebook, and Yanaro Lorraine on uh, Instagram, mm -hmm. at Lorraine Yanaro, mm -hmm. Twitter. All right, so you know the drill. You know how we do it. We have a couple of slides uh, put up for you that we are going to show in a bit. And I would really, we would really appreciate your feedback. So White 254 on Facebook again, White 54 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is what in the morning. Hashtag White 254 Afghan. So guys, what is a red flag? What do you think a red flag is? Well, for me, I define red flags as um, those signs or those um, small, small things mm -hmm. that you see mm -hmm. that um, tell you that it's time to pack your bags mm -hmm. and call it quits. Mm -hmm. That is what I define red flag. What do you think a red flag is? Uh, to me, a red flag. Uh, uh, let's have it in Kiswahili, Bendera Nyekundu. Okay. This is just petty signs. Okay, they are petty, but they are serious signs in a in a relationship mm -hmm. or in anything you're doing mm -hmm. or to see if it will work out or not work out for you. Kabla tuna kwa Victor Mivi anaijua red red flag tukisema na balls ni red card but red card ni ni kuumetoka. Hiyo yellow ni warning red is z is uh so are we saying is the warning signs or they are just boof. What do you think red flag means? Uh red flags first of all let me start by saying all my girls love me. So red All flags, yeah, yeah, they love me. So red flags. I'm sure I'm a red flag already. Yeah, that is a red flag. What you have just said. Oh. So yeah, um, red flags. I'm thinking basically like is a telltale signs on unanza kuambi um ume unapiga sim you're being told I'm a bit busy. I'm a go out. You normally go out on certain days, but today you're kind of busy. So I'm thinking, eh, labda kuna ka sponsor someone started sending. Guys have red messages flags too. and yeah yeah we do have red flags come it's on it's, <laughs> it's Kenya it's Kenya baby That's funny. <laughs> All right, so we defined a red flag as, as you can see on the slide coming up, we defined a red flags as warning signs uh, of danger. Like, yo, there's, there's a problem. Uh, check it out. Check it out. It's, it's, uh, not everything is okay. We need to fix something. And we came up with a couple of scenarios. But you tell me, give me one of 
your personal red flags. Okay, scare you go. Mm. Uh -huh. is, um, communication communication mm. is very important in all um, relationships mm. so if the way we used to talk and communicate goes down <coughs> a bit and I start noticing um, some some little things in communication mm -hmm. um, that for me is a sign to work yeah mm -hmm. what's one of your red flags uh, one of my red flags mm -hmm. I'd say is I don't know just Weird vibes. We we normally call each other, talk kawaida, but all of a sudden, you're not picking up my calls. Mm -hmm. um, you don't wanna hang out mm -hmm. the way we used to. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a red flag for me. Or, or you call and they're very short with you, like yeah, they're, at they're like, man, you can just feel uh -huh. the the vibe through the phone. Mm -hmm. like, uh, story. What's one of your red flags? For me, a red flag uh, mostly is when someone is picking their calls. Mm -hmm. Uh, you find like maybe before they call you are so comfortable mm -hmm. uh, you just take the call right there but now is they are standing I'm in a balcony here yeah, what are you doing at the balcony mm -hmm. yeah so hiyo sasa simu anaenda kuchukua mpaka kwa bafu kidogo hata aoge nayo. Aha. All right. So here we go. What is a red flag? A red flag is used as a warning of danger. So this is I don't know if it's the universe or your partner it, kind of is it subconscious or it's Sub intentional? Yeah. Is it really? Is is it low key like this? Yeah. What are some of it? It's okay, continue. Keep giving me, keep giving me. It's okay, I appreciate you. White Five on Facebook at White Five channel on Twitter. Hashtag is a Y in the morning. I kind of feel, but anything to try to try like a dog Red flag, Kwango Squeezy, it's it's no more. Like one red flag like this, it's done. It's a wrap. Like, <laughs> bye. Mm, the first team to go home, Afcon, even the uh, red flag, me more and baby. Bye. See you. See you. And at a second chance, Akuna. There are certain red flags you can't play with. If you find someone who is, who, let's say, cheats on you and is okay with cheating on you. In fact, I'm a compare to Pole, you may jam. See, he is sorry that he cheated on you and he will do it again and again and again. In fact, Experience is the best teacher. So the way he's cheated on you this first time, ukam shika, sasa shachora formula. Okay, alini shika GA story. Okay, Pythagoras. So if I do like this, eh? yeah, so now I won't get caught. Imagine Saitan. you're not that smart. Saitan, <laughs> yeah, These guys can pretend for a whole three, three, four years just pretending to be good. Why, why? Uh -huh. Give me another slide. Give me, give me, give me, give me another slide. So, case scenarios, he has a terrible temper and gets violent with you. He has a very, very bad temper and gets violent with you. And this is maybe the first time it won't be at tea with you. Maybe Mendapoko daily, you've ordered for food and the waiter maybe spilled something on his brand new shoes. Yay! Kelele! His temper comes out, smoke is coming out of his ears, and he's suddenly very violent. He wants to fight everyone. Do you know who I am? Very expensive shoe, blah, 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 blah. Do you think that's a red flag? Yes, it is. Why? And Val, that is one of those that we said that um, you see it once and you walk away. Because we've seen so many cases of um, people in relationships getting violent and they lead to so many bad things mm -hmm. that we know of. So if someone has anger issues, violence and all, they should first of all deal with themselves. Mm -hmm. You see? So if you see that, I think it's, it's really important for you to just give yourself some time, give them some time, let them deal with their anger issues mm -hmm. and their violence. Because uh, really, it will get worse, maybe somewhere, mm -hmm. and then something happens. What if he feels it's not an issue? What if he, th he comes and tells you you're the one who's blowing it out of proportion? Like, I was ready to get upset, and this is how I get mad, you deal with it or you don't. What do you do? Okay, with guys, they always want to blame the ladies mm -hmm. when it comes to their anger. Mm -hmm. And mostly, you would say, when we're dating people, we should look at their relationship with their moms. Mm -hmm. Uh, so why would you be so violent over the, uh, I call it like a spill on your shirt? Mm -hmm. We basically will kill. We like uh, at the end of the day we'll clean the shirt. Mm -hmm. So I find it like uh, for a lady, if you have a guy over the issues, he's like he's already here. Mm -hmm. You just walk out. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really have to be. You can't fix him. Actually, say you can't fix someone at that point. And you know, you you think he loves you so much, he'll never do su such a thing to you. 
to you. You tell yourself that he can't do that to me. So uh, what do you mean by he can't do that to like, you? It has already happened. Uh -uh. To say, my sister, you've seen him being violent with someone. Mm -hmm. And then you see, you assume ah, it's just because who maybe alikuwa memkujia vibaya. You don't know the whole story. Yeah. Then Never one day he me. will high five your face. <laughs> Baby, high five. <laughs> <laughs> but huh? uh, if it happens with someone else, one mm -hmm. thing we should know is we're not any different. Mm -hmm. Even if, in as much as we're dating, mm -hmm. we are not any different. At some point he'll forget mm -hmm. that he loved you mm -hmm. or that Im that anger will just take the better part of him. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be you and you're gonna be high fived. Uh huh. Constantly. Mm -hmm. And then it's a cycle. He high fives your face and next says sorry. he's going to lift you with his foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? It's it's a, then he'll say sorry and that sorry will be sorry. There will be tears involved. There will be flowers, to whatever you like. Gifts. Actually, hey. yes, that will happen. You get a lot of gifts hey. and they're like, so sorry. You stay. And then you stay. Mm. Where, baby? Karada. Tell us. First <laughs> Victor is so ready to get let's, into this. Let's not, <laughs> let's not play the blame, blame <laughs> game. Chafadali. Okay. The guys see devil. True mm. story. Let mm -hmm. me give you a true story. Where I live. After like two weeks as Jaisha, there was a girl who was beaten seriously. With a girlfriend, seriously. I wish was on go home. Na joking na onyo na na check. Home say like dance cafes. So like ukina mbe story violence and guys. To me, to be honest, it yes, it's rare, but it happens. Mm -hmm. So let's not. Okay. So it's also a red flag if, if yeah, you yeah, see but, her. But me, uh, me, I'm, if if violence involved, just step out. Mm -hmm. Like coming from both sides just it's step not out, worth man. it yes yeah, not worth it you mm -hmm. if you're listening man say if he's violent if she's violent just step out let's make love not war man all right so we have scenario number two he emotionally blackmails you he emotionally blackmails you maybe like an akupati too hey not nice things that he oh when you maybe you get fed up and say you know what i'm tired i'm done i am through kidok dogo atas kona kutaka <laughs> in fact, I am just dating you because Ulilia too can insist. Unataka tu kuwa girlfriend. That's the only reason. Guys, how do we deal with that too? And you know, it's, it's, it, it's funny now. And it could be funny when someone you don't really care about tells it to you. You have no use for the opinion. But when someone you cared about or you're just trying to separate yourself from says that to you, don't you think it would hurt a bit? It does actually it hurts mm -hmm. yeah like we spoke of violence mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be physical mm -hmm. there's emotional torture mm -hmm. you see so if you're in a relationship and you find out that um this guy is just um blackmailing you know it it does a lot to your inner self mm -hmm. and people may not notice but to you you just have to to realize what it is doing to you first mm -hmm. so if, if if you realize that in your, you're in a relationship and you're going through you know emotional abuse mm -hmm. just walk away it's a red flag it is maybe on the same breath of abuse before we get to the to the to you queen i want to shift it a bit to make it psychological yeah i once and i learned just the other day that if i share my experience maybe someone else will have an ah moment they will come to their senses there was once i i was seeing someone a situation ship my my daddy had just died he had, he would he was killed so i was in a very dark place but um like <laughs> i was played like a spanish guitar guys spanish guitar and i'd go and confront like yo i can see this i can see this and this he'd be like no you're just in your head it's because you're depressed what kind of person does that yo I'm not to uh, am I supposed to take his side? I, I want you to uh -huh. help me understand. On understand the that. On okay. The um, well, what I can say is sometimes, to be honest, guys, sujo ku sense. Sujo ku sense vulnerability. Sujo ku sense. Like, I can tell when you're sad, when mm -hmm. you need some comfort, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's all about you being smart. Mm -hmm. Like, so Ulisema like you are depressed. So I'm, I'm thinking Yo, he must a have depression. That was Linda <laughs> off. I was on autopilot. So I'm thinking he must have figured out uh this is an easy target. Ah Ladies, are you listening, Queens? Are you taking notes? Shinda shinda to apa kuhuni. I'm sorry, guys, ni moi biya siri, but tashiko. Oh, no, no, but but yeah, it's true. Uh sense we can sense uh, when you're feeling down nini, nini. Mm -hmm. but it's upon you to be smart it's mm -hmm. a jungle out here man so no one has it easy <laughs> help me yeah yeah 
say what you are but thinking right now. Mm-hmm. Say it. When you say uh, it's a jungle out here, and how d- you know at her situation, when we look at it, she was like down, 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 My and all you need is support. Not someone to tell you it's in your head. Okay, you, when you're down, a normal human being would know if someone is emotionally down, they're gonna not. They're not going to do stuff that they normally do. That's a vulture. Yeah, that doesn't mean that. No, no, no. Kufa unani karibia tu nikule. But my, my, my services are supposed to. But then guys, they love to. taking advantage of our emotions. When we doubt, mm-hmm. you'll find this, they'll be honest with that sweet person. Mm-hmm. What do you want? <laughs> you can easily click. Let's uh-huh. go to happen. Can we talk? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then they'll always be there. Uh-huh. Only with one goal. One mind. intention. Yeah. Hey. hey. Are we communicating? I'm at the volume. Hashtag is why in the morning. I I can hear you, but I want to see you on Facebook at Y254 on Facebook at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is why in the morning. Okay, case scenario number three. He wants you to provide and gives nothing in return. Ati babe, aki suni jenge manse. Goja wuni. Suni peka kitu. Si you give me something. Like nikuwa tuna sikia nchaki doko manse. Ama niko na mashida mobi town. Sindwa tuna shida bro. Help me understand. Let me let me let me let me first understand the mm. case scenario. Is it a guy asking for cash? Yes. Or are it's there not, guys who exist? Are friend. there guys who ask for Ni cash? Point. Are you for real? <laughs> Do you want me to start <laughs> pointing names and naming fingers? Ebu, eh, 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 that's that's even against nature, man. To be too honest. Ah yeah. Mm-hmm. That's even against nature. Like, let mm-hmm. eh, me to be honest, Miss Jayvoy, Nadim. Really? Yeah, yeah, like, oh, and I and I buy gifts every once every once in a oh. while, man. Okay, like, me I'm spoiled, so yeah, mate, uh, guys, <laughs> man, <then. laughs> Oh, it's my birth. Good thing it's my birthday today. Hey, hey, it's birthday. my birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We need a queen somewhere to lay a pair and a gift up. Man, they are me bonga So what do you think about this? Yeah, and I, it doesn't have to be money. Just yeah. Okay. resources well one thing i say is uh, uh sometimes in giving we find uh, the people have different type of loving mm. that those who would love oh love giving. languages yeah mm. they just think pampering a guy with gifts and gifts and gifts and gifts uh that would make the relationship work and then there are those guys who feel like since my girl is pampering me with gifts it becomes a platform for extortion mm-hmm. so they be like oh babe i'm supposed to do this yes, i'm supposed to do that he asks for money. I guess sometimes we as ladies, we make the girl, the guys feel, uh, if she can provide for me, mm-hmm. if she can buy me gift constantly, then she can also provide for me, which should not be the case, because men should always do the providing uh, for... Uh, when you say that you buy a KDF, 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 it's not bad to buy them. It's not. But my point my, my was, uh-huh. mm-hmm. don't make them lazy. Uh-huh. As in, like, how do you translate? Okay, babe, I care about you. Na since we told her, what chat I spoil? How do you translate to that to ah, uh, si atali pato? Si kila kidogo ukio kwa fix every time ukio kwa fix una. Oh, like. As in, what's wrong? Is it just because nilo kupea was? Does it mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just like you, just be like as a lady, you just wake up and you're like, I'm out. Because mm. I'm not going to feed you. I'm not your mommy to feed you at that yeah. moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Apo kwa, I'm not your mother. Where, where? A bomb a volume. <laughs> we are not your mothers. Where? Change yeah, scenario. Oh, now you can applaud. Yeah, I'm glad Unashka <laughs> wire. So, next case scenario. He uses your own insecurities against you. He uses your insecurities against you. So, perhaps maybe uh, you feel some type of way about your body. Yeah? Or you feel some type of way about, I don't know, some some feature about you. And then he just uses that. But yet, Ushesikia mtu anaongeza chumvi mali ushaumia. Then yako kakitu kwa uchungu. Mm? Ama bro si ukinyolea unekanga spirit. Siya kufu. Well, Ako kafeeling. Hey, Yo. Ako kafeeling. Eh? Yeah it's true. I mean mm-hmm. kutumia insecurities against. We all have insecurities funny enough. Nani funny it's mo- true. Mo- Everyone mo- under the sun. Ev- um, the people who like pull you down. Wanda wa kumu insecure. Mm-hmm. Like if you've ever noticed. Mm-hmm. So eh, me, I'm not a fan of using insecurities against other people because mm-hmm. we all have insecurities. I'd inspect a general of police. <laughs> so yeah, mm-hmm. insecurities. 